Okay guys welcome back and in the last tutorial we had included the app router element inside the elements.html file and given it some urls to map and similarly we had given it an attribute of import which will just go ahead and import the required elements once it had once it has it received a particular url in the url bar so we'll just go ahead and now see that the app is now not working so all that is left we have to include the anchor tags so we'll give it an anchor tag of href and then users and i'll just give this a users and then we have to give it an anchor tag of contacts and now if we just go ahead and try to run the app we'll see okay just uh, we have to re rename this part okay. so once you have just done this thing if we just click on the different links out here we'll see that the routing is actually not working properly okay so as soon as I click on any link, it will give me an error. Okay. So you can see that the cannot get slash users. This error is actually showing up. So basically the reason for this error is that this page is actually trying to go ahead. I'll just show you. It's actually trying to go ahead and find some file named users. So what we now have to do is that we have to stop. You have to tell this file actually not to go ahead and kind of reload. Okay. So basically what we now have to do is that put in a hashtag out here so the functionality of this hash is actually to tell the browser not to reload the page okay so once we just go ahead and try to see whether our app works or not so if we just click in here okay so we see that the app actually worked and but still we are seeing some error out here so basically one of the reasons is that I just mistyped this element to I have actually mistyped it to element instead of elements because the folder named here is actually elements and not element okay so let's see whether this thing works now or not okay so okay so once I click on this users tab we can see hello from bar so I'll just go ahead and rename this part to hello from users okay So if you just cannot see, I'll just increase the size and now I put it to users and put the whole thing inside the h1 tag. Okay. So if I just go ahead and try to refresh now. Okay. So now we can see that it is showing up hello from users. Okay. And if I just go ahead and start from the fresh app itself. Okay. So now out here nothing is shown. and just as I click on users tab, you can see that hello from users is showing up. So now if I click on the contact tab, you can see that nothing actually changed. So something must be wrong out here. So in the next tutorial guys, I'll just show you what is actually wrong with this app such that it is not importing the contacts element. So please subscribe to the channel guys and like the videos and please comment and thank you.